Right, thank you. Residents in Eugene's Bethel community impacted by pollution from the JH Baxter facility are now pushing for change now more than ever. They sent a letter to Governor Tina Kotek urging her to give her approval to transform the facility into an EPA Superfund site. And KZI 9 News reporter Julio Mora Rodriguez explains what could happen if that designation is approved. Um, and I just think that the community as a whole will just be so much, there will be so much relief. Over the years, the area has been contaminated with pollutants and chemicals like diacin, harming the ground and making it impossible to use well water. It's why local organizations like Beyond Toxics and Active Bethel Community want to see action taken on the site sooner rather than later. But we can't do it without her, so we need Governor Kotek to do that. And if there's anybody out there that wants to send a letter to her urging that, that would be appreciated. Once the governor gives a letter of approval, it would be up to the Environmental Protection Agency to put the site on their Superfund National Priorities list. From there, discussions can be had on how much money is needed for the full cleanup operation. The site will require long-term evaluation and chemical removal. The active Bethel community is hoping to have the Superfund site as they have plans for the area. We were approved by the city council to start on our Bethel plan. And we're working on that right now, and I'm sure that that will be included in our Bethel plan as what we want to do with that property. One woman I spoke to says having the area cleaned up means a whole lot more than just being able to garden again. It would also ease her anxiety in regards to contamination of not only herself, but also her family. We could have little kids coming around, you know, my great grandkids, and I have a great great granddaughter anybody could then we didn't have to worry about the kids and dirt you know this hope is still a long way from becoming a reality but residents will continue to keep their fingers crossed that someday things will be cleaned up reporting in eugene julia mora rodriguez kezi 9 news